Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. And I'm back with another video of another swap that I received at On Stage in Vienna. And this cute little package with a little gnome on there opened up and did have a little biscuit in there and a tea bag folded up in there and a cute little tag um, message there. And this is the demonstrator that swapped with me and that's her website there. Um, and please do take a look because not only is she a fabulous paper crafter, but she makes awesome textile art as well. So please do check out that website. Now, as much as I love this, she had made it with six by six designer series paper. And as I said, the tea bag was kind of squished in there. So totally understand when you're making swaps that you would make it as frugally as you can with your paper. And six by six is perfect because you can get four from the sheet of designer series paper that she used. I'm going to push the boat out and make mine a little bit bigger. Well, I have done. Um, and this is mine here. Um, this uses paper that is eight and three eighths of an inch by six inch. So you will only get two from your 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I've used this paper simply to remind you that it is called Fitting Florets. Lots of glare there, sorry. Um, and it is only available until the start of January before the new mini catalogue comes out and um, while stocks last. So there's loads of absolutely gorgeous patterns to this paper um, but as I say it's while stocks last. You can tell I haven't been able to cut into some of these yet. <laughs> I will, I promise. Um, but yeah, so I used that pretty design for my first one um, and my decoration on the front, this piece here, is die cut from this design here. The paper goes with this bundle that is in the mini catalogue launching in January 2023 and it's framed florets. So you can stamp and colour that and use the same die as I used to cut out this piece there. I've just stamped a little reminder that you are loved and then inside I've used polished pink uh, ink and ribbon. So inside I've got my two tea bags. Mine has that gap that this one doesn't have. It's only got a tiny, tiny fraction of a gap there. Um, but that was just so that I could get um, use six inch wide paper um, but it doesn't detract from it because you've got those little pockets there and then you've got the little pocket for your message so lucky to call you friend again from framed florets and I used one of the oval dies this one here to cut that so I will show you how to do that I've used a different paper from the pack. I'm going for this bright, bold one. And I'm going to score that I'm in my simply scored board. And as I said, it was eight and three eighths of an inch. And I want to score that at two and three quarters. Turn it around and do two and three quarters. So we've got that extra bit in the middle there. Turn it around so we're on the short side, the six inch side, 
and I want to score that at one and three eighths of an inch. And again, we'll just turn it around and do one and three eighths of an inch on there. All right, that's it, simply, simply scored. There is no cutting involved in this and it really couldn't be easier. Okay, so I'm just reinforcing those. I'm not even using the bone folder because it is just paper. Um, you could do if you wanted. But so you'll see that there is a little bit extra in the middle there. Okay, and it's just so that it folds a little bit better um, and, and isn't too bulky. So, easy peasy. You want to take that corner and fold it up to that score line there. Okay, and then just give that a press. I will get my bone folder out for that, but just give that a little press and do the same at all four corners. And if you can't see where your line is, fold your paper up and it makes your life a little bit easier. I can see that that's my line there. Just give that a press. All right, so this bit comes down and I'm going to put glue on there. And that will create that bit will stay there and then when I fold this bit up I'm taking that a bit too close to the score line there just give it a press and it'll work out so I've got those two score lines there I want to put a little bit of glue just down the side the inside of those two score lines there and then that will fold up that creates my little pocket for my message. And then I've got my little pockets at the end for my tea bags. I'm going to have to rob the tea bags out of this one because I haven't got any extras. I'll go tea bag shopping soon. Okay, so they fit in there nicely. Fold one over, fold the other over, turn it around and we're ready to decorate. I need my tag, a little message for the inside. So polished pink again, because the berries on that paper are polished pink. So we'll just stick with that. And this is my frame and it does fit that way. So that's fine, I can stamp it that way. So lucky to call you friend and then the other one is just a little reminder that you are loved so I'm just going to stamp that along the top there and I've already roughly cut round the piece of designer series paper so that I can die cut this okay so I'm going to, that way Heather, <laughs> oh I've smudged that, oh, let's turn it over, let's just do that one again. So lucky to call you friend. And then I'll die cut that, but the sentiment on the other side is just going to be trimmed. So I'm just going to back that off while I die cut this and this. Back in a second. 
Okay, so I have this spare frame because that die actually cuts out the frame and the central oval. And I've just realised I can't really use that one because I've got uh, stamping on the back and it's going to be shown. Um, but we'll just go with it for now, for the purposes of demonstration. Um, so there's this beautiful leaf stamp and I'm using Bami Blue because again that is in the designer series paper and I just want to make sure I'm on camera here just want to kind of line the end of the branch up with the uh, in line with the oval just to add a little bit more detail and I'll have to do another one because I messed that up as well <laughs> but you get the gist and we'll do another one of those but to go with it in fact I'll use this one and then I won't have to undo it again and do another one for the other one and uh, sort that out with new tea bags. All right, so I've got polished pink open weave ribbon. Got that all folded up. Then this is the fun bit. Oh, that's far too long. Don't want to be that wasteful with my ribbon. Okay, so let's tie this. I love a ribbon on a project. I just don't like tying ribbons on a project. Which is probably why that lovely lady that gave me that swap did it in a knot instead of a bow. <laughs> She's more clever than me. Here we are. We have a bow. It's not the prettiest of bows, but we've got a bow. Let's... Shorten the loop a little bit. That'll do, that'll do. And then I can chop the tails so they're not quite so long. There we are, that'll do. And as I say, I've got this. Just a little reminder that you are loved and I need to chop that and I'm just I'm gonna bring in my little trimmer. Stamp it up, don't sell this anymore. It was a joining offer. But existing demonstrators could buy them at the time as well. I just find it's nice for doing little bits of trimming like that. Okay. And if you've got it, why not use it? So I'm gonna just add a little bit of glue along the bottom edge of that flower that die cut then pop that on there like that and then I want it to go over the ribbon so I will put dimensionals along the bottom and one big one along the top there and I'm actually going to take out a couple of little ones mini ones just to put the top there so i've got plenty of room in between for my ribbon don't want to stick this to the ribbon because then you won't be able to open it out properly and that would kind of defeat the purpose wouldn't it still quicker using my nails for these <laughs> I'm 
trying not to use my nails as tools, but it's, it's a hard habit to break. Okay, so let's try and get that straightish and the ribbon out of the way. And there you go. Just a little reminder that you are loved. Two tea bags and a little message. So lucky to call your friend inside. So we've got two versions. One totally floral with the lighter um, flowers on there and then this darker one. Which one do you prefer? Not sure I can decide. I think they're both beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please do click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell, you'll get notifications of the next time I upload a tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to this lovely lady for her swap and her inspiration. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.